All right, in this video, Foundations of Math 30, we are talking about combinations. And uh, if you're following along the text, this would be sections 4.5 and 6 combined. <laughs> combined. I know, that's amazing. Anyways, combinations. Okay, you've heard me talk about combinations before. Uh, combinations. And uh, first of all, we're going to refresh our memory on what a permutation is because they are very closely related. Very closely. Remember that a permutation is an arrangement of distinguishable objects in a definite order. And of course, this definite order right here is very important. Order matters. The combination of two numbers, or two letters in this case, when order matters is a permutation. So I haven't used that word combination before because order matters, we call that a permutation. So A and B, and B then A, those are two permutations, okay? Because the order matters, all right? Order matters. And we have done this, right? We've done um, this notation. So if you have two of something and you pick two of something, that is the, um, that's the notation and the operation for finding the number of permutations. So if we do that, um, we'll have two as an answer, okay? Uh, now, over here, if we look at combinations, okay, when we're talking about a combination, we're talking a grouping of objects where order does not matter. So in this case, order does not matter. So if we have A and B, and we rearrange them B, A, these are both the same combination of letters. So here, there is one combination, okay? All right, so that's the difference. Whoops, order matters and order doesn't matter. So this difference, um, we can talk about uh, this difference too uh, in terms of an example. So let's take a look at this example. If we have nine volunteers uh, that are volunteering for three positions, okay? We only need three of the nine. So the question says, determine the number of three-person teams that can be formed. Now, if we if order mattered, let's say we had to have a president and a treasurer and a secretary or something. If the order mattered, then we would do nine pick three, right? And nine pick three. So what's nine pick three? Well, you get on your calculator and you go nine and you find your permutation function and you pick three and that's 504. Okay. So 504 different um, permutations for three people picking from nine, all right? Now, remember the difference between a permutation and a combination is that order doesn't matter in a combination. So this question really is talking about just three-person teams. It doesn't matter the order. It doesn't matter who's occupying which position. So just like over here in our original example, there are fewer combinations then there are permutations, because if order doesn't matter, then there's some of these things like this that we don't care about. So there's going to be fewer. Now, if we think about this, um, how many fewer combina uh, combinations would there be? Well, we have to try to account for the three-person teams that we have arranged in a specific order when we did permutations. So what I'm saying is that if we had three uh, people and we picked three out of that where order matters, okay, we're going to have six for each grouping of three, we're going to have six different permutations, right? That makes sense, right? A, B, C, uh, A, C, B, and so on, all the way down to six. And so we've accounted for six different orders for each grouping. If we want to eliminate that, we would go 504 divided by six which would give us uh, 84. And this actually is the number of combinations. Well, I just put an exclamation mark because I'm excited, but I don't want to do that because that looks like a factorial. Okay, sorry, combinations. All right, so really it's nine pick three divided by three pick three to eliminate the definite order of the three people in a group. Now there is an easier way to do this because if we look at the formula, and I'm just going to kind of throw both of these up on the screen here right now. If we look at the formula for NPR, 
looks like this. The total number of objects or items or people, or whatever it is, factorial, so all the different ways you can arrange that, and then we're, we're taking r out of there at a time, so we divide by n minus r factorial. Now, the r is how many um, that we're picking from there, right? And so if you notice what we did here, right, up here, we 6 is also 3 factorial. So in this case, what we did, <clears throat> we had 9, pick 3, which is 9 factorial, divided by 9 minus 3 factorial. Well, that's 9 factorial over 6 factorial, which gave us 504. We then divided by 3 pick 3, which actually is 3 factorial, which means that the 3 is the R, and so really, we've divided again by, here it is, R factorial. Look at over here. So that's how you get the number of combinations. It's this formula over here. And I'm going to do the uh, above example using this formula. So 9 now, and the words we want to use are choose, okay? So this was 9 pick 3 over here. This is now 9 choose 3, and that's going to be our indication uh, that we're doing combinations. And so we'd have 9 factorial divided by 9 minus 6 factorial, but then we're going to divide again by this number factorial. And this right here is going to eliminate um, the order that we've built into this uh, permutation. Okay? So here's your formula. And yes, very handy that on your calculator you do have an NCR button. My calculator is over here. And see, it's just below NPR. You may have it as a second function somewhere. But uh, let's just give this a try. So let's do, okay, let's clear this. Let's do 9. And then we're going to do choose. So I'm going to go down there to number 3. 9, choose 3. And let's say if we get this number, we got 84. Ah, look at that. 84. Okay? So what this is saying is that order does not matter. We have 84 different groups of three people. It doesn't matter which order uh, they line up at the door or which position they take. It's just the groupings. 84 different groupings of three people. Okay? All right. Uh, let's see. Just one more thing. Here's your assignment down there. But I just wanted to um, put this up on the board here. This notation right here, NCR, you'll also see it like this sometimes with an N on top and then an R on the bottom. It's not a dividing. It's always got brackets. That um, This is also a notation for N choose R. So how many combinations of R items chosen from N items? Okay? All right. Here's your assignment if you're in my class. Uh, and, uh, yeah, so that's, that's the lesson permutations and combinations. So I'll just leave this up on the board here for a, for a moment.